Hi, welcome to another discussion on cannabis facts with the Kootenays Medicine Tree. My name is Jim Leslie. I'm one of the directors here. So today we're going to be talking about suppositories. Yes, cannabis suppositories, specifically rectal suppositories today. Now, some of you might be wondering, why would I ever put cannabis there? Well, there's a very good reason why. Some people find themselves in a serious health crisis and they need to take increasing amounts of THC, for instance, to try and combat not only the symptoms, for instance, of cancer, but uh, the progression of the illness. Um, when you're fighting significant chronic progressive illness, sometimes you need to get your doses up to higher levels. And it's hard to do that, especially if you're cannabis naive, if you've never used THC before, it can get you very high, particularly if you're not smoking it or inhaling it, if you're eating it. What happens is, when you eat cannabis, and THC is involved in cannabis, it goes through your digestive tract, ends up in your liver before the bloodstream. Now the liver is the magic here because it actually metabolizes THC into something called 11-hydroxy-THC. Now what you need to remember is, this product is four to five times more potent psychoactively than the THC you just consumed. That's why eating an edible product can be so variable in the effect and why the effects can be so potent. So, in order to uh, increase tolerance to THC and reduce the psychoactivity that some would refer to as side effects, you use suppositories. Now the reason why is, when suppositories are placed into the right place in the lower end of the rectum, just above the anal sphincter muscle, you get absorption through the rectum into the bloodstream. Now the absorption there is very efficient. I've seen figures that equate it to upwards of 70% absorption potential in the rectum. Now when it gets through into the bloodstream, it misses the liver. That's important because guess what? That THC compound doesn't go to your liver and get converted and become much more psychoactive. It goes through the body and it attaches to receptors in its original form, delta-9 THC and it retains its medical benefit, but you don't have the extreme psychoactive potency that you get from the oral ingestion. That's why suppositories work very well for many people and why I've personally seen senior citizens enter our dispensary afraid of THC. They ate that brownie 20 years ago, they had a, a bad time and they don't ever want to experience that again. Well, let's say they have insomnia and THC is going to help them. This can be a method that gets around the psychoactivity of oral dosing.